We got a fruit-filled, thirsty Thursday for you this week. The Pacific Northwest is entering the height of fruit season. It is harvest time. That means breweries across the region are crafting some fun and vibrant beers made with seasonal ingredients. And this is uh, much more than just your citrus IPA. Mm -hmm. uh, from berries, cherries to peaches, no shortage of high-quality fresh fruit to use here. So joining us live to share three local fruit beer picks that you can find at a grocery store near you, we have KB Brandel, Beer and Wine Manager with New Seasons Market. Appreciate the time. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, glad you're here. There are some truly interesting creations out here, but uh -huh. what makes fruit beers so different here in the Pacific Northwest? Well, I think the really cool thing about fruit beers from Oregon is that we're sourcing local fruit, mm -hmm. which I think a lot of other regions kind of have to like outsource, bring stuff in, but we have stuff from, you know, like Hood River, we've got stuff in the Willamette Valley that we're just yeah. able to get local fruit, which is amazing. Yeah. Honestly, a cornucopia of ingredients totally. to, to choose from here in this in this neck of the woods. So we have some fruit beer picks mm -hmm. uh, this morning, your picks of the season. So what did you bring in for us? Um, I've got a blackberry uh, lime, uh, not lime, lemon uh, sour from Ooh. Gigantic. We have a peach sour from Ferment and a cherry lime ale from Hot Valley. Oh, wow. Fun. Okay, so let's go through um, some tasting notes for all of these. We can start with Ferment, the queen, queen of Persica peach sour ale. Okay. I yeah. love a sour ale. So uh, what stands out about this one? I think what really stands out about most of these beers are, is the fruit. Yeah. yeah. Um, you're getting a lot of cherry, um, or not cherry, sorry, peach in this mm -hmm. one. You're getting cherry in the Hot Valley and you're getting blackberry and a nice like balance of lemon in the Gigantic. And what these beers do is they really balance that fruit and the malt and it's just, yeah, a beautiful showcase of like, this is the fruit that's in here, but yeah. it's also like, not overwhelming. With these with these kinds of beers, I mean, you talk about how fortunate we are to have the local produce that we have. I mean, this is the time of year for it too, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, this is pretty seasonal to do something like this? Totally. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in like the winter, you'll start seeing like barrel-aged fruit beers, mm -hmm. but right now we're getting that like fresh, like, like you know, farm to kind of barrel yeah. or yeah. fermenter right now. Well, pretty with cool. that being said, they're gonna be on store shelves for a more limited time, right? It, exactly, yeah, getting that last taste of the summer. I mean, we saw yeah. the weather, it's changing so like get these now. You gotta mm -hmm. grab them while they're in season, just just like the fresh fruit. How, uh, oh sorry, go ahead. Oh no, I was just gonna say, I, I think, you know, these are some of my favorite summer beers. I call them like summer sippers, cause that, all you need <laughs> yeah. is like a cold beer and a nice seat in the sun and you're good to go. But I'm curious, are there some pairing suggestions for fruit beers? Um, I mean, I love that pairing. Yeah. These are definitely out, uh, like outside beers, um, but also like trying them with the fruit that's in them is really cool. Mm. Oh. Okay. Um, just kind of seeing like that like balance of yeah. like both of the flavors and also just, you know, trying them as a fruit salad too, like having them with other fruits. Oh, that's a cool idea. That is yeah. a good so idea. How, how different is this when you talk about, you know, a citrus IPA versus, because you talk about the citrus and the fruit, you know, in theory, at least with that versus something like this, how different is that fruit coming through in a citrus IPA versus something, you know, like a summer ale with this fruit so directly infused into it. Yeah, so like citrus IPAs, uh, fruit forward, like uh, hoppy beers, they're really accessing that like fruity fr fruitiness from the hops. Mm -hmm. And that's like the talent of a brewer is to like get that like hop character in there. So it's not actually fruit, exactly. it's the hop. Yeah. And, and this is fruit. Yeah, and you will actually see like some like fruited IPAs, like Stormbreaker has a guava, uh, IPA out right now where they added guava, mm -hmm. but that, so that's kind of like a fun, playful way to do that. Yeah, mm. but, and I guess that, that speaks too to like the different points in the process where sometimes it's brewed with, sometimes it's infused after, you know, kind of added in, all different ways to incorporate it. Exactly, and that's like where like, it's like the brewer's choice, you know, yeah. where they like showcase their talent and what they're looking for. That's that. cool. It. Yeah, it's really cool. Fruit salad of fun. Well, so <laughs> New Seasons always does a great job of finding, you know, cool seasonal stuff like this. Uh, how important is it to keep that selection local too to the Northwest? Oh, it's really important to like us and our departments um, at New Seasons. Like, it's really cool to like have these local fruited beers, and then also have a produce department that's like right you know, in the yeah. same store with uh -huh. a bunch of the other local produce too. Same, same. Yeah. Yeah, and you're taking a look at, you know, some of the beer selection that you can find at New Seasons. It's quite the wall, quite the selection. So how long can we find these seasonal beers uh, like this on, on the shelves, you think? Oh, I mean, yeah, they go pretty quickly. Yeah. Uh, especially, I'd say, like, in the next couple of weeks, like, snag these now. Mm -hmm. Once Labor Day happens, you know, we start to see those fall beers rotating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fresh hops are coming up. 
Uh, so yeah, get the fruited beers while you can. Go get oh, them and go get true. them now. It's almost fresh hop season. Yeah. I just got excited thinking oh, about I it. Oh, I love a fresh hop beer. Yeah. Oh, nom. Very yeah, it cool. sounds great. Well, beer and wine manager KB Randall, thank you for joining us. Excellent picks. I'm excited for a whole new kind of fruit salad. I know. I don't think I've ever tried something like Who this. Knew? I'm excited to sip on it. Some good Thirsty Thursday recommendations for you. If you want to find the closest location near you, see what New Seasons has to offer for their wonderful summer beers, you can find more at NewSeasonsMarket.com. Yum.